This is a comparison of 16 different cans of spray paint, all of which state that they produce a mirror-like metallic finish. Some are labeled as aluminum, others chrome, silver, and even platinum. The test consisted of seeing how well the paint reflected the image of black bars on a white background. There were two samples for each paint. The one on the left was as per the instructions on the can, typically two to three light coats. The sample on the right was the same two to three light coats followed by a heavy flowing coat. The first sample is Tester's Glossy Metallic Silver. As you can see, practically none of the bars are reflected. The image quality is very poor, so I rate this as a very weak reflective paint. Next is Alclad 2 Chrome Lacquer. It produces a much better reflection, so I rate this as a good or very good mirror-like chrome finish. The third paint is Tester's Chrome. This is better than the first Tester's, but still not very good when compared to the Alclad. Spastic Mirror Chrome is probably the best I found. After buffing, both the lightly coated and heavily coated samples produced very sharp reflective images. The smudges you see here are from my polishing it before the paint had completely dried. I would rate this as overall the best mirror chrome like finish. Rust-Oleum Bright Metallic Silver came out of the nozzle so thick and gloppy that it gave the surface a texture that couldn't be polished out. That's the main reason why it does not have a good reflection. Krylon Color Master Metallic Silver had a similar problem. Up close, the surface texture looks sandy, and that kills any mirror-like reflections. Rust-Oleum Metallic Chrome looks good on the heavy painted sample, but actually that's a reflection mostly from the high gloss of its finished. Looked straight on, it turns quite gray and vague. Rust-Oleum Aluminum produces a very soft reflection. Krylon Looking Glass Mirror-like Finish is one of the worst. Like Rust-Oleum Chrome, Design Master Platinum produces a good reflection, not because it's a chrome mirror-like finish, but because it's very glossy. Look straight on, it is very dull. Valspar Metallic Brilliant Silver did pretty good in the heavy coated sample, but again, that would be difficult to do in real world without drips and sags. Rust-Oleum Metallic Silver did not do very well. Krylon Premium Original Chrome did very good in the thick coat, but in the light coat, that is, as per the instructions on the can, it came out very sandy and unattractive. VHT plate finish probably produced the second best mirror-like chrome effect. It did require a lot of buffing, though. The dull zone up here is where I actually over-buffed it to see how much it could take. This was unusual, this paint was unusual, because it went on about the smoothest of all of them. That is, even in the light sprays, it did not produce a sandy texture that many of the others did. Duplicolor Chrome looks pretty good on the coated side, but the finish was so soft that it left fingerprints and you wouldn't want to handle it. You wouldn't want to use this for a model. It's much too delicate. The final paint is Plastico Premium Enamel Aluminum, 
which as you can see did not do very well. So the final analysis is for my money spastic mirachrome is the clear winner with VHT metal plate a close second.